Hey guys, welcome to our webinar. I hope you're doing well today. It's Omar here from Music Workflow Academy. I'm here to show you a little bit about what's in the course and give you guys some information on some music production tips that you can expect to see in the course. So we're gonna start today, get right into it. A common problem that producers face is they struggle with the arrangement of their song. So I've created this unique track template using MIDI in Ableton Live. So we're just going to zoom in and look at this top top layer here. So we've got our introduction, build up, drop, breakdown, drop, breakdown, drop, outro. So we've created this using MIDI in Ableton. You're going to get this template in the course, which is great news for you. And you can basically line up with the intro and your arrangement and see Okay, this is the intro, we want the basics here, then we've got our build up to add tension, then we've got the drop, which is like the main chorus or the energy bit or the hook of the track. Then we're going to go for the breakdown, which uh, we get rid of the kick drum and add in some more melodic elements like a pad and uh, build the energy back up. Drop two with a bit of variation, like drop one, and uh, another breakdown. Uh, build some more tension, maybe add a snare roll and some percussive elements. Drop three, we could add a little top loop over the top or, or a glitchy layer maybe. Some nice glitchy percussive elements. Uh, and then we're going to have our outro, so like our DJ friendly outro, where we can mix the track out. And um, this template gets you up to around about a four minute long song, which we can see at this bar at the bottom. And that's good enough for the radio. Uh, you can get that on Spotify, Beatport, and uh, if you want to get it on TikTok, we could shorten it, make have a less than three minute version of the song. We could get rid of a drop and maybe a, uh, a, an eight bar breakdown instead of a 16 bar breakdown for the second breakdown. And then we've got um, a finished track template. So that's tip number one, guys, uh, for your arrangement. That's what that's going to look like. I'm just going to show you what the energy of the track is would look like if I was to demonstrate that using, I'm just going to use this automation line to demonstrate what that would look like. So we've just gone into automation view, which the shortcut for that is T and then B for the pencil tool. And we're just going to draw these lines. And then the breakdown, we want the energy to go down. And then we can hold Option and curve these lines. And we can just go like this, copy, duplicate along, drop, outro. So the red line indicates the energy of the track and how it's going to increase in energy from the intro and build up. Peak in the drop, go back down in the breakdown, come back up in the drop, go back down in the breakdown, go back up in the drop and come out on the outro. So that's that the addictive song structure that I've learned from artists like Martin Garrix and uh, David Guetta. And um, that's what that looks like. So another thing producers struggle with is finishing tracks. This template will help you do that. And, and the next tip that we're gonna go on to is mixing and mastering. So to make things sit a bit deeper in the mix, for example, if we want the bass line to sit underneath the kick or the snare to sit underneath the, the bass line, a good tip to create depth in your mix is just turn down the volume. So we can even do a little volume automation here with this acid bass line. And we can make the bass line quieter to allow it to sit nicer with the kick drum and the bass line. So that's a mixing and mastering tip. Here's a quick kick drum tip. Uh, I now currently synthesize my kick drums from scratch using a Max for Live plugin called Analog Kick. Just looking out the window, it's a nice day today. <laughs> and it basically analyzes uh, analog kicks and it, it makes them from scratch using um, a combination of 808s, sine waves, oscillators. Uh, sounds a bit like this, I'll give you a quick preview. It's a nice punchy. 808 kick which is there and then obviously this is the acid bass line which we've made using an operator patch and some scales which we can look at and then together we can hold command and have the kick drum and the acid bass line together 
So that's what that sounds like. <laughs> you know, who doesn't like an acid bass line and a kick drum? So we look into how we made this acid bass um, using the scale feature here. So this basically means no notes can come out of key. So you just drag this in from your MIDI effects, which is here, and you just drag that in, and then you choose your bass note. It can be A, F major, D major, C major, sharp. Uh, you can transpose it as well. And that's the scale, so once that's on, then it's going to mold to that uh, note. And then you can click these little buttons, notes, and then they will change the sound of that note. And we can just disable that by clicking that little button on the top left. Okay guys, and that takes me to my last tip, which is uh, a nice big one for beginners. So what I like to look for is a sample. So we're just gonna go to our sample library, which is located in the bottom left of Ableton in our places. And we're just gonna look for, for a loop. And I'm looking uh, more for the rhythm of the loop. So this one, it's like da -da 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 -da. so I'm just going to drag that loop into our project, make it a bit longer, and I'm looking for the rhythm, not the sound here, because what I'm going to do, guys, is I'm going to right click, and I'm going to convert the melody into a new MIDI track. So I'm just going to left click on that while it's loading, do a little dance. <laughs> Hope you're doing well today, guys, enjoying so far. And here we go, so we've right clicked on the bass loop and and we've converted the melody to a new MIDI track. So this is what that looks like now we've got track 7 is the bass uh, in MIDI. So now we've got the rhythm of that sample but not the sound. So I like the rhythm, so now we can put our own sound. So I didn't like really like the sound of, of this loop. Cool, but I wanted more of an acid -y vibe. So what we can do is we can get our acid patch or whatever sound you like and just put, put that on the MIDI. Um, and then now we've got that rhythm with an acid sound instead, which sounds like this. play that and then with a kick drum underneath it and we have a nice sounding track we can bring the hats in which I've synthesized from scratch and then conga drums which sounds something like that and that's the tips that we're going to cover in the webinar today guys I hope you found some value in that there's a link to get the course it's going to be either here or, or here or could be up here <laughs> but it's here somewhere guys uh, I really hope you enjoyed today and uh, I look forward to seeing you in the course so make sure you get enrolled in lesson one and I'll speak to you then. Peace.